What's up everybody? This is Corey Mission Side Hustle and as you know, I am on a mission to grow $500 to $1 million. Today, I'm taking you guys with me. We're doing a junk job for a repeat customer. Then we're gonna go ahead, get the scooter here fixed and running, as you can see. And we're making a ton of money selling lots of stuff from last episode. As a reminder, the current channel net worth is $11,068. And as always guys, please make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell up if you hadn't already. And also, check me out on Instagram. Let's get to it. Don't worry guys, it's all fake money. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since you saw me do all that stuff with the rugs and there's been a few small developments and we've got a couple things going on now, so I'll show you what's up. I've got that other desk that I bought in the back of my truck, so I gotta somehow get that out. Then we're on the way now to go do a much smaller junk removal job as well and we're gonna go take the mobility scooter I bought to a store because it doesn't work. Uh, it turns on when it's plugged in, but it does not drive at all. So I'm just gonna take it to a shop and see what it costs to fix it. Now here's the good news. I bought it for 425. It's a $1,300 scooter when it's new, mm, but I gotta make it work. So I don't know. We might lose money on this thing. We might make money. The jury's still out, but first things first, we gotta get it running and then we can finally post it. So uh, we're on a tight schedule today. Let's go ahead, get started and knock this stuff out. Let's go. All right, we are on the way now, and uh, here's the plan for today. It's gonna be a quick day, I think. Even though we got a lot of stuff done, it's gonna be a lot of small little things we're knocking out. So we're heading to this house now. So this is the lady that I did uh, some moving jobs for, a small moving job for, and a small junk removal job for as well. And now she's having me come back to grab uh, about half the size before, so I'll probably charge about half the rate. Then I think if I can find a scooter store along the way, I'll drop off the scooter to go ahead and get it looked at. We'll go to the dump, hopefully pick up the scooter, and uh, then drop off this desk at the storage unit, and then we'll be done. So um, I still have to post a lot of stuff for sale. I got a lot of the rugs online already, and those Husky storage units, and they are hot, man. I've gotten like tons of messages, so I feel pretty confident about these buys. I'm always like slightly nervous when I spend a lot of money. There's al there's always the risk that like you pay too much or it's not gonna sell or whatever, but it's always a good feeling when you post stuff and you start getting messages right away. That's just like proof of concept, you know, people want it. So at any rate, let's go ahead, uh, get this stuff going, do these jobs, knock it out, and uh, make a little bit of money. So here we go. All right guys, so I just walked inside to talk to her and see what we were looking at. Um, got a fair amount of small furniture items. This isn't gonna take very long for me to get all this stuff out here. Some of it's gonna have to go to the dump, but some of it I'm gonna try to clean up myself and resell it. So I'm gonna load up into the trailer here. As you guys can see, I've already got some stuff in here, but it's gonna make for a nice efficient dump run later. Um, so what I'm gonna do is things that I wanna keep, I'm gonna try to put in here with this desk and things that are going to the dump, I'm gonna try and throw in there with those couches that are just, they're wrecked. I know you guys can't maybe see very well, but like they're chewed up, they're furry, they're scratched, they're gross. There's no way I could sell them, no way I could fix them. So let's go ahead, we've got dump. And we've got keep and resale pile, so let's get to it.
thought I started pulling away. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, I haven't had my signs on in a couple days. I took them off. I forgot a reason why, but I gotta put them back on. Much better. I think what I'd like to do now, because not all, not all of it is junk, but not all of it is worth selling either. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like freaking out, saying like, you could sell those bar stools for 10 bucks or whatever, and like, maybe I could. Um, but my time is worth a lot to me, and I don't like, this is why I got out of like garage sale, is because like, I don't like doing small profit items. I like, I better make at least 50 bucks. I gotta make 50 bucks per item when I'm flipping stuff because it's just not worth my time otherwise. $100 is what I strive for, that to me that's a good flip, but like 50 bucks, I just gotta make 50 bucks or else it's just not worth the time. So no, I don't really wanna sell the paper shredder. No, I don't wanna try to sell uh, the little bookshelf or those stools, just not enough money. So what I'm, but what I am happy to do is try to save on the dump fees a little bit because if I if I can give all, a lot of the stuff away, that's less money I have to pay as an expense to go to the landfill. And also too, it's less crap that's going into a landfill. I, I don't wanna contribute more than, than is necessary. So couches, they gotta go, but some of this other stuff um, can probably give, be given away for free. So that leads me to my plan. What I'm gonna do now is go to the scooter store, drop off the scooter, see if they can take a look at it. And then I'm gonna head home, take all the stuff that I think is worthwhile giving away for free and just put it out on curb alert and post it on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can get some of the stuff out of here. Whatever's not gone by the end of the day, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all to the dump so I can move on with my life. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I got paid. I was here like 30 minutes, this is nothing. I got paid 140 bucks. She was really nice and yeah, I know everyone beats me up on saying I could charge more and stuff like that and you're probably right, but this is, listen, I'm going to the dump already. It took me 30 minutes to grab this stuff. It was not hard. I don't mind it, and uh, I would say 140 bucks is actually pretty dang good for all that stuff. So let's go ahead and be on our way. All right, we just got to the scooter shop, so let's head in here and see uh, what it's gonna take to fix this thing and get it running. Hopefully we don't lose our ass. Uh, that would be a big setback, so let's check it out. Definitely in the right spot. All right, you said to go ahead and bring it in. They're gonna take a look. So here is the uh, majestic ride. So, a little dirty, but like I said, if I, I plugged it in here, and it, all these lights will come on at this point. Um, if I hit it, either of these, nothing, nothing happens. It'll beep if I press the button, right? the horn, and then the light will come on if I press this button. The light comes on. Okay. And I've tried charging the battery directly and no dice either. So, okay. All right, let me put it in the back. Okay. I'll get your name. Stuff. No problem. And sometimes it's not doing it right now. Oh, there it goes. Sometimes that back wheel kind of like locks up when it's going. That's normal. Is it normal? Okay. Got it. Thank you. That's good to know. When I push it, the back wheel would lock up, and that made me really nervous thinking that like there's something wrong with the, the drive function on it. But he told me that that's normal and it's a safety feature and makes a lot of sense. So, you don't know what you don't know. That's all I gotta say about that. So let's go inside, give our phone number, head on out of here. All right, so just went inside, gave him the number. He said he might get back to me today, but definitely tomorrow. So now, let's figure out what to do with all this stuff. What I'm gonna do is go ahead, head home now, and uh, put out some of this stuff for free, and actually take some of the stuff to the storage unit that I think I might try to sell. So let's see what happens and get doing that now. All right guys, so I'm just getting home now and uh, I've been thinking more and more about what I'm gonna do with a lot of this stuff. And the reality is I could probably sell a good amount of it, but it would take a lot of time and it really wouldn't be worth a lot of money. I'm only considering just to show people, show you guys how you know I could make more money doing that if I wanted to, but I don't know if it's worth, I don't know if it's worth my time to do it. I'm gonna try and I might do the mattress, I might keep the mattress and take that to the storage unit and clean that with the cleaner that I have. But a lot of stuff, honestly, I'm about to just put it out right here on the curb and get it rid of it for free to avoid having to pay more dump fees on this stuff. So let's go and get some stuff out now, throw it out here and uh, get rid of some junk. Let's go. All 
right guys, so I narrowed down what I'm gonna go ahead and try and resell and what I'm giving away for free. So here's the free pile. I just posted it like one minute ago. So this stuff's gonna fly. I, can, I already know it's gonna be out of here by the end of the day. And then some of the items in here are the things that I'm gonna go ahead and either just clean up and resell or possibly give to someone that I know, if, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, mattress I'm gonna clean and sell. Kids mattress, clean and sell. Kids seat, clean and sell. Nightstand or little table, I don't know, clean and sell. And the desk in there, something I bought from the auction. So things are coming along. Uh, but I just wanna show you guys what's for free and what's being resold. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit once we have some more stuff going on. All right, guys, so I've got someone coming now to get one of these rugs already, and I'm very excited by this because I just posted them a few days ago, and I also was a little nervous, too. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make money off these things or if uh, they were gonna work out really well. So this is encouraging that I've already got a sale coming in right now. I've posted about half of them so far, getting some good messages, but this is the first rug sale that we're going to do. So this one we bought for 25, we're selling it for 125 that people are pulling up right now. I just saw them through my they're by window over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and meet them out, take this rug outside, unroll it in the pavement for them, and wrap this deal up, and then uh, keep this thing going. So let's go ahead and take it out, make a little money, and get paid. All right, guys, we just wrapped it up, and man, mm, that one was super easy. I mean, the rug was not heavy, and I'm always dealing with like really heavy stuff, so it was kind of nice to have something that was just like really easy to carry and load up in someone's truck or van in this case. So anyway, we got some more sales getting ready to happen here soon. So I'm gonna take my 125, stow it away, and get ready for the next one. Let's go. All right, guys, I got some family coming by for dinner tonight, uh, but what I'm gonna do is the hustle don't stop. <laughs> So I've got some, the last two pergolas I have, I want to go ahead and sell them. I've got two people that are going to come by tonight uh, now that it's after five o'clock and everybody's off work. But I'm going to go and just put those pergolas kind of like right over here, have them set aside. So when they show up, I can just walk out, help them load it, and uh, they'll be on their way. And I don't even got to stop hanging out with the family. I can just eat dinner and come out here and do my thing or whatever. Just got to come out and sell the pergolas, right? So let's get it moved over and then make some sales. Let's go. All right, perfect. Now when they get here, I don't even gotta leave and stop doing what I'm doing. I can just walk outside, make the sale, and collect some money. So we're gonna make two sales, and I'll catch back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so this morning I'm about to take my kids to school, and then afterward I'm going to meet somebody at my storage unit to sell three of those Husky shelving units. I'm gonna sell three of them for $5.25, so pretty decent profit. I bought uh, each of them for 90 bucks a piece, so pretty good. But anyway, let me go ahead and take them now so I can meet this guy in time and make some money. Let's go. All right, guys, there we go. You saw we sold three of them, which is good. Got all the cash in hand, 525. Uh, pretty decent little profit. We've still got four of them left, so he said he might come back and get some more, which I really hope he does. Uh, but first things first, I don't know if you guys can even see, my storage unit is like trashed. So I need to spend some time just like rearranging, getting everything kind of organized a little bit better. Um, and I still have some items that I still have to list. I mean, some of this stuff is dead money, and I haven't even listed it yet, like these grills and uh, the sofa still I gotta get listed. So I've been slacking a little bit, but it's time to get on it because I gotta get some of this dead weight out of here, make some space so we can keep buying some more stuff and do some bigger and better flips here pretty soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and just close up shop now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead today, see if I can get some more jobs, like junk jobs lined up. It's been a little bit slower, but I do wanna get some more of those happening here pretty soon. So I'm gonna spend a little time making some more posts and things like that and see if we can get some more work lined up. But at any rate, let's close up shop now and see what else we get into really soon. 
All right, everybody, so it is the weekend right now, and I'm just kind of hanging out at home with the family, but I've got another rug sale happening in like 10 minutes. Someone's coming over here to pick up one of these rugs, and again, I'm really liking these things because every time I sell one, it's like a $100 profit, and um, they seem to be selling pretty fast. It's my second one in like a week within, within post, actually less, like five days within posting this stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get it pulled out, get it ready for them, so that when they arrive, I can just take it outside, unroll it so they can see it, collect the money and move on with my day. Let's do that now. Right here. <laughs> All right, see y'all, have a good one. 125, 125, $100 profit, 125. All right guys, we are pulling up now to the scooter shop and uh, I've got good news and I got some bad news. Good news is the scooter is fixed and it's running fantastic. Cleaned it up for me too. Bad news, cost me 160 bucks plus tax. So I'm in this thing deep right now and I'm about to go pick it up get the final total and then I'll let you guys know like what I'm in all the way uh, but then I guess we'll list it for sale and see if we can make some you know squeeze a little profit out of this thing even after having to fix it and all this stuff so let's walk in here now get the scooter and uh, check back with you guys in one second let's go got the new ride and I gotta say this thing can move baby <laughs> all right guys Woo! We've got the new ride, and uh, you guys just saw the thing rolls pretty dang good. And uh, got, got a little tune-up on her, she's running real nice. And I was a little off on the price, and actually the price to get that done was actually total after tax, 160.50. And you guys know I round up or down, because I don't like to track cents and pennies. Uh, so we're just gonna say 161. I don't know if I'm <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make my money back on this thing. If I do, I don't know how much, but we are gonna go ahead and post it today. I'm gonna get some good pictures of it once I get to my house and uh, see if we can maybe make a little money off this thing, because I really hope we do. We spent a, a lot, not a lot of time, but this wasn't a lot of work. It's just more steps than I'm used to doing. It's the same reason that I don't like sand and paint furniture. It's just more steps, and at the end of the day, it's not, for me, I've not found it to be really worth it to put in all that extra work to make only so much more money. I'd rather just find things that are uh, in good condition and flip them based on, purely on that. So anyway, let's go ahead and head home, get this thing put away, get some pictures, post it, and hopefully get a sale lined up. Oh my God, this thing rides, dude. Check me out right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I can't make money on this, I might just keep it. Just to like, go to the store. Just to go to the auction with this thing. Just to flex with my new mobility scooter. I seriously might just keep it. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, head inside and get some pictures in a little bit. And say hi to the GoPro. Hi GoPro. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not supposed to walk with this. What are you doing? You're trying to steal my. What's going on over here? I'm trying to fix the car. Ah, oh, looks like you're trying to steal my car. No, I'm trying to steal. Doesn't go there. <laughs> All right guys, so it's a little bit later in the day and earlier I sold one of the rugs and then uh, spent some time with my kids and my wife today, rode around on that mobility scooter, went to something called Repticon, which is like snakes and lizards and stuff. My kids wanted to go, so we took one of that. And now, while I was there, I had another message for another rug. So this lady's coming here now and I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one too for another $125. I priced them all at 125, 
so that hopefully whenever I sell one, I'm making a cool 100 bucks each time. So let me go ahead, get it pulled out, get it ready for her, and then hopefully meet her outside here in just a little bit, make the sale. Let's do it. All right guys, so I just sold those Husky shelving units and again, I sold them for 175 a piece, which was a total of 700 bucks and I bought all of them for $90. So we've done really well this episode. We also, as you guys saw earlier, I did wrap up selling those final two pergolas. I sold one for 125 and one for 120. When you take all that into consideration, we had a total sales this episode of $1,985. Now again, we had to spend some money to acquire these items, so our cost of goods sold was $805. Now before I can decide what our profit was this episode, we did have some uh, just flat out expenses as well. We had to pay the $30 business insurance we have for our junk hauling company, as well as we spent $161 on that scooter repair. Now I'm not counting the scooter repair as just like a flat out cash expense. I am counting that as an addition to the inventory column simply because the scooter is still in our possession. Uh, so I'm just rolling into actually being that the scooter, we spent more on the scooter itself. So whenever we sell it, that will determine how much profit we made off that item, whether it be less or more, or whatever the case is. So that being said, when you take all the sales, the cost of good, deduct the expenses, do all the math, we have a new channel net worth of $12,218. And this was a great episode for us. We made a lot of money and boosted our net worth even higher. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.